Hello, I'm Father John. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the Shrine of Our Lady of Good Help. This is our newest building, Mother of Mercy Hall, where we are holding large gatherings and also sometimes we'll offer mass here uh, in, the, in the hall. And then of course we also have our shrine to St. Joseph where we remember his special patronage and protection of the Holy Family. This uh, place here really represents for a lot of people the, the peace and the, uh, the help of the Blessed Virgin Mary. So hold of gatherings, uh, we have, sometimes we have mass here. We also do our, if we have large speakers, large groups, um, we can hold up to 1,100 people in this building. So it provides for us a lot of flexibility with uh, the groups that we host and uh, uh, allows us to uh, have a, a nice space and gathering area, especially if we're going to have mass. So. Why don't we go for a, a little walk here on the main grounds. So when Our Lady appeared to Adele Bryce, Adele was walking along uh, an old Indian trail that went through this area and it crossed right through the chapel and went out towards New Franken. And so the grounds over the years have been built up around that, uh, that trail that Adele was walking when she was bringing grain to the grist mill. We have, as I mentioned, our shrine to St. Joseph here. We have uh, this area that has typically been when we do outdoor masses. We'll have this, these, this grassy area as kind of our gathering space. Uh, people also like to picnic out here and uh, visit the Shrine Grotto to Our Lady of Fatima. Later we'll visit the, uh, the Welcome Center, which is also our history center. It includes all of the historical artifacts. And then of course we have our main chapel, our 1941 chapel. This is actually the fourth chapel that was built on these grounds. This chapel, uh, for many people who come here, is the uh, where people encounter that experience of Mary's peace and of our Lord. Uh, the chapel was built directly over the apparition site itself. So this building here is our welcome center and our history center museum where we have many of our artifacts and we have a what is most likely a replica or it, we, we know that this fence post came from the shrine grounds but it's probably not the one that was present during the Peshtigal fire but it certainly it dates to around that age. Uh, one of the reasons why we display it is because we know that that was one of the signs of the miracles of the, of the Great Fire was that the outside of the fence posts were charred and the insides were left untouched uh, from the fire as they approached these, these grounds and threatened the people inside. And so we always try to remember that that's one of the, the most significant events that happened out here. Uh, these are the branches that were found under the 1880 altar of the third chapel that was built here. Uh, these, we believe, are branches from the two trees that Our Lady appeared between. And so when they built that 1880 altar, they put the branches underneath it uh, as a, uh, a relic for the altar itself. And when they tore down that chapel to build the bigger one, we found them and we keep them here. So very special for us here. Something significant we always like to, to draw attention to is the many favors and gifts that ha people have received while uh, spending time here at the shrine. They leave their uh, canes and their crutches as mementos of the healings that they've received. And so we have both in here some very uh, striking stories that people have um, shared with us, but then we also have in the oratory itself, we'll go down there later, we, uh, up against the back wall you'll see uh, dozens of canes and crutches that people have left behind as mementos of their, uh, their time and experience here. Lastly, we like to point out that this is, uh, it's not the original statue that Adele used to process around the grounds with, but it is very old. We suspect well over 100 years old. In addition, we have the, uh, the story and the history uh, along these panels. So if you'd like to spend some time looking at those, I encourage you to do so. So this is our 1885 schoolhouse building. This section over here was actually added on to later. But this part of the building here is the, the main building, the original building where Adele would have taught the children. And 
gathered them to live here. So this is our 1885 schoolhouse building. Uh, it's worth pointing out that this is the only remaining building that Adele would have walked on. We have actually different levels of flooring um, that emphasize the, the age of this building. You have the original floor and then a new floor that was put in in the 1920s that we continue to use today. Uh, Adele herself would have actually walked this, these grounds, this building itself. Um, this schoolhouse cafe that we have here now, which was the, one of the original schoolrooms where Adele actually taught the children. We've since converted into a small little cafe for our pilgrims. And then if you walk down here, we have our gift shop where we sell religious goods and actually we use this as a way of continuing the mission of Adele Bryce to teach and catechize those who come to visit the shrine and to learn from it. So we have catechetical works, um, books, and uh, images of Our Lady of Good Health to help spread that message and the teaching of the Church. Power, health, and body, and protection, and soul is they invoke thy most holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. There you go. You're welcome. This area here is actually our outdoor altar where we hold outdoor masses occasionally. It used to be, before we had our new building, Mother of Mercy Hall, it used to be where we held our biggest celebration, August 15th, every year. We did it out here in the outdoor altar where all the people would gather out here in the grassy area. So here at the shrine, originally there was a, this five acre plot of land that extends out here behind the main chapel. This is where many of the original processions with the Blessed Virgin Mary statue and uh, where many of the pilgrims would pray the rosary uh, over the years. They would do it out here in this, this back field. And so over the years, it's really developed into a very important devotional area for the pilgrims that visit here. We have our rosary walk that goes all the way around and our stations of the cross. So very important for all of the pilgrims that come out here to visit and have that time for prayer. This is the entrance to the main chapel, 1941 chapel. It's built over our apparition site. This is the apparition chapel where we have our high altar that stands right over the apparition oratory. We believe that Our Lady appeared to uh, Adele Price and gave her the message and mission of teaching the children and spreading the faith. This area, this church here is very much a place of prayer and peace where people come to bring their petitions and their needs and their wants and their worries and they submit them to Our Lady and uh, she brings them to her son. So this is our primary house of prayer. One of the most important locations here at the shrine is our apparition oratory where we built the basement area that's directly underneath where the chapel sanctuary is and it's in the that general sacred space where we believe Our Lady appeared to Adele Bryce. This is our apparition oratory where we believe is very close to the location where Our Lady appeared to Adele Bryce. Uh, this statue here, Our Lady of Grace, is very old and has a lot of tradition and significance for us here at the shrine. It's been here as a part of the chapel and as a uh, instrument of prayer for many pilgrims that have come here. So I'd like to invite you to come and 
spend some quiet time down here in the oratory, maybe light a candle with your prayer requests, and really offer this, this time of silence and, and quiet to our Lord for his help and intercession.